Once upon a time, funerals were an easily recognisable format, but nowadays there is a lot more variety. I'm here today in Christchurch to visit John Ryan's funeral directors and catch up with Tony Gehring to go through, well, some of the options that are available today. 34 years experience, Tony. The world is changing so fast. You must have seen an impact when it comes to funerals on the changing nature, I guess, of them. The biggest thing that I've noticed probably is the change in the degree of formality around funerals. So when I first started as a trainee, funerals were most often held in churches. There was a, a formal ritual that surrounded them. Over the years, that's become far less prevalent. They're far more family-centred, far more about the life that's been lived and remembering and honouring that rather than a ritual. And that has led to the length of funerals changing as well. So you know, 34 years ago, uh, we could cope with a lot more funerals in a day than we do now. The average length of a service now is probably around an hour and a quarter to an hour and a half. Tony, I wanted to talk about some of the trends that you're seeing in funerals. I've been to a few. They're becoming a lot more personalised. So what have you seen? Certainly a lot more personalised, a lot less formal. There's still a place for formality in some families and some cultures, but by and large, most people are looking to have a more life-centred funeral that focuses on honouring the life, remembering the life that we're there to celebrate, rather than sticking with a ritual. So there's any number of things that people can do to bring that about and to personalise the experience and the day. And what sort of styles are people using nowadays? I've noticed that, you know, some like cardboard boxes, some like titanium coffins. Have, have you seen anything recently that you'd like to talk about? There's a huge range of caskets and coffins available. Uh, we are increasingly seeing people choosing woolen caskets that are made from New Zealand wool. They're an English design. Uh, wicker caskets are being used. There's a lot of ecotype options out there, so they're caskets or coffins that are made with no nails or screws that are snapped together type things. Uh, there's solid timber uh, and there's also the traditional MDF and veneered coffins and caskets as well. Let's talk transport because I've seen some photos, you've got some classic hearses, but what else have you got? Well we've got the range really, we have our modern imported hearses that suit most people's tastes. We do have uh, some New Zealand built hearses. Increasingly people are looking for something that's different, something that's going to pop as being really unique and really about the person whose life we're honouring. So Tony, we're here in the Garden City. You must have some brilliant options for where we can hold a service. Absolutely. Generally it's a family's choice where a funeral's held and if they have a strong connection with a church, that normally is the place of preference. We are very fortunate though that we have our beautiful London Street Chapel with its well-known award-winning gardens, which is a big draw card for a lot of people who come to us saying that they love the surroundings. We also own uh, the Herewood and Canterbury crematoriums, both of which have beautiful chapels, catering facilities and lovely manicured gardens. So any of those options are available to families that we're helping. So Tony, how do people get hold of you and your team? Okay, they can call in and see us at either our London Street site or our Kaipoi office, which is continuously staffed. They can call us, they can get us on johnryan.co.nz or through our Facebook page.